M, and this is Happy Crafting. Now, anybody that knows me knows I am a huge Potter fan. I'm gonna show you some crafts that'll help make any party magical. Now, one of the most iconic Harry Potter decorations are the candles in the Great Hall. But for those of us that find levitating candles a bit tricky, I've found a great muggle method. We're going to start by adding some double-sided tape to the top and side of our card. Just going to peel that off. Now we're adding some invisible thread. Two strands helps keep the candle nice and straight. Now we stick on the battery power tea light. And it's time for the glue drips. You can be super fancy and add a few additional colours, but I'm just going to paint this white. So spooky and dramatic, especially in the dark. And there's a candle that's much easier to levitate. It'll really set the scene for your party. Now, treats are a party essential, but instead of serving boring muggle muffins, we're gonna make some cauldron cakes. Start by pouring chocolate over a muffin. Just going to smooth that out with a tiny pellet knife and a little bit of magic. Leave that to set. To make the potion, I'm mixing up some food colouring into some buttercream. Just mix, mix, mix. Get a nice deep colour. To create a really cool bubbly effect, I'm using some pre-cooked tapioca pearls. Just mix those in as well. A gross looking potion. To make room for our potion, just hollow out a little bit of the cake using a spoon. Now to fill that with our potion. Add a few drips down the side and stick in a fruit leather handle. Definitely potion masters with this one. I thought a great way to start the party is to have everyone enter through platform nine and three quarters. So here is a super easy way to make your own. Start by adding some brick colors to a plate. Got a red, a yellow, nice bit of brown, and some orange. And using a big rectangular sponge, squish it round to get a brick color. Stamp this onto some brown paper. Squish that there. Remember to offset your bricks to get a more realistic pattern. Cut that down the center, a perfect magical entrance for all the family. I thought it'd be great to have some potion punch for this party. And the best place for a potion is a big old cauldron. I'm going to show you how to make one of your very own. To start, we're making the feet. Gonna want some thick cardboard and zap it into this shape. Then glue in the sides. And stick on these paper sausages for toes. Just fold that up. A large bowl is perfect for the body of our cauldron and we're going to use some more hot glue to stick the feet in place. Pop that there. For the handle I'm using a curtain ring trapped in some cardboard. Stick that on. To create some texture we're going to layer on some PVA glue and some kitchen roll. Just paint that on there and layer that up. Once this is dry, time to paint it all black. Then for my favourite bit, the dry brushing. 
so pretty, really brings out the texture. There we go. Perfect punch bowl, ready for our magical punch. I've used some edible shimmer powder and food colouring to really give my punch that potiony feel. It's been so much fun making these crafts and I think we've really set the scene for a spectacular potter party. I can't wait to go. Oh. If you like this video, remember to like, subscribe and tell us which crafty creation you want to make. But till next time, happy crafting!